certification exams are completely different than the test you took in high school or college. Um, the goal on a certification exam is not to get 100. It, nobody cares if you got 100 or not. The goal is to pass. And so if you need 70% to pass and you scored an 80, what that tells me is you studied at least 10% more than you needed to. And nobody cares. Nobody's going to say, you know, I'm going to hire you because you got an 80 and that guy only got a 75. You're both certified. It's a pass-fail event. So don't stress the exact score on it. I, I have some students who kick themselves like, I only got a 90%. It's like, nobody cares, dude. You passed. That's all that matters. So, so that's one big thing. The other thing is remember that certification exams are about recognition. Almost all of the questions you get on an exam are A, B, C, D. They're multiple choice. So you don't have to come up with the information out of thin air. You just have to be able to recognize it when you see it on the paper. Um, and that makes the test a lot easier to deal with, honestly, when you're studying than trying to memorize everything. So that's another thing to keep in mind. And then the other thing is when you're dealing with the CompTIA exams, they have those simulations, those PBQs, performance-based questions. Those are always the first questions you get. There are three to five of them on the exam. And they're the hardest questions because those are not multiple choice. So you have to actually know the answer. Usually they involve dragging and dropping or issuing commands to the terminal or something of that nature. Uh, because of that, what a lot of students do is they take the test in the order they're given. So they sit down, they hit start, and the first questions come up in their simulations. And they will spend 20, 30, 40, 50 minutes on those five simulation questions. And now they've got 35 minutes to finish the rest of the entire exam, and they've got 70 questions. And then they fail. Um, so what I always recommend, recommend to my students is the first thing you should do is skip those simulations. When you get those simulations, just hit the little flag mark for review on the exam, hit the next button until you get to the multiple choice. And then blow through all those multiple choice. Because as you go through the multiple choice, you're going to build up your confidence because they're easier questions. You're going to be feeling good as you're going through them. And when you get to the end, then you go back and attack those simulations. And by that point, you've already knocked out, you know, 80% of your exam and you only have those last three to five questions to focus on, and you can really take your time with them. But if you take a lot of time at the beginning on those simulations, you look up at the clock, and you're like, I got 30 minutes left, and I got 80 questions to go. You're going to start rushing, and you're going to make mistakes. And so the students who I find that skip those simulations increase their score by about 10%. So it's, it's a great technique to use on the exam. Mm -hmm.